everybody. Welcome back to R and R Sugarloaf Farm. I'm Ryan, and today's video is about cleaning up stalls. Okay guys, so we are out here at the barn. It is our weekly time to clean out the stalls. We have 10 mama goats that reside out here full time right now. That's about to change because we are about to start milking. And so um, they won't be out here full time um, versus what they are now. But, also, we've got to make room for a few more stalls. Whoa! Because, um, I'm watching the babies run and collide with each other right now. But, we are making time to have, uh, or, we're making room because we have the next five goats, um, that are on our list due this month. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what's happening here. Okay, so while I'm talking, y'all can be looking at the babies in the background. Um, so anyway, what we do on our farm for our cleaning is we use typically straw or shavings. Um, and we don't use the fine shavings. We typically use the big flake shavings. Um, and what we'll do is we'll lay it down. We've got dirt floors. We'll lay it down uh, and we'll add to it throughout the week. And then we'll do a deep clean once a week. So um, that's what we do inside the barn. Our weather, so it is March 2nd. And our weather has been up and down this past week. But uh, it's been drastically cold, uh, below freezing. And then it's warmed up into, um, there's a couple of days where it was, in the 80s and now today it's already warming up to where it's going to be in the 70s again whenever yesterday the high was in the 50s so um that makes it really difficult because the flies <laughs> the flies start coming out in the hordes and so what we try to do is we want to get ahead of <coughs> we want to get ahead of the the fly um, population out here at the barn so that we can try to get everything situated um, so that we don't have like a huge amount of flies in our barn because this is where we milk this is where we kid and everything else so for our temperatures to be this high it is a little abnormal but it's not unheard of for Northwest Arkansas um, it's just kind of one of those things to where um, you know the weather changes about every 10 minutes here. That's all I can say. Um, I was born and raised here in Northwest Arkansas, and um, this is just kind of the norm. Um, but sometimes, you know, most of the time in late February, early March, it's on the cooler side versus the warmer side. So we are trying to tackle that today. 
um, in the barn, clean out all the stalls as a deep clean. Now, right now, the guys are working on some other farm related stuff. So I am on my own with this and it is a job. So uh, the pin back here is normally where we keep all the babies whenever we kick the mamas out and the um, we keep uh, extending that time frame with the mamas to where uh, we're up to about um, five to six hours with them out of the barn during the day. Um, and it's just so they can be a goat, they can get a break from the kids. Um, but that is going to change once we get our milk machine um, up and operational. So we have all of our parts, we have it all together. Um, we are just needing to mount it and um so that is what we are going to be doing today but that will be in a separate video um and this milk machine i will try to link the video in the description box um for y'all but we got our milk machine this one from ozark mountain goats um last year in the fall they um, unfortunately needed to sell out of their herd for health reasons and so that is how we got Sylvie and Lily and that is also how we acquired our milk machine um, now they built this machine themselves and since they were on YouTube they posted that on a separate video which I will try and find and I will link in the description box for you all um, as far as how they pieced it together, how they built it. Um, but since it's already pieced together and built, we're just going to show you once it's up and running, how it works for us. Um, we know that it works, we've already plugged it in, but we are just needing to mount it to the wall and I will show y'all where we're going to do that um, here in just a second. But then, like I said, as far as the whole milking process, that's gonna be in a separate video um, and but let me show y'all what we have to do today. And it is a job. Okay, so here's our milk machine. Um, it is just right there. We've got to wipe it down because it has been windy the last few days and has gotten very dusty in here. Um, and it doesn't help that I'm cleaning out today. But we are going to be mounting it right here on this wall. Um, and then our milk machine will go right in this area. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that will be on another video. But I am going to give y'all a short update on Tootsie. And here she is. Hi, Tootsie. So she is doing really well. She's a little skinny, but... We are giving her a little bit extra TLC, but also you got to understand that she's not out in the pasture with the herd. She's unable to be because of her incision. It has now been two weeks um, to the day that she's had her C-section and she should be getting her stitches out here any day, but I haven't sprayed her with any AlluShield today yet. But as you can see, she is doing really well on her incision. Wah! Hey guys, just tear everything up. Hi! <laughs> and there's all the babies. So. We have 10 stalls. This is the big one that the kids normally run around and play in during the day. Um, and as you can see, that's where they all go to the bathroom, which um, I've pretty much raked this one out. Um, this is on plywood. Uh, and so I've got to wait for a little bit for this to dry. And then, so that one is done. That is all that came out, which by the way, this is really good stuff for y'all to use in your garden. Um, it's really good compost. So, 
and those guys just locked themselves in. Okay. Well, so here's one of our five by five pins. And there you go, guys. Get out of there. So it's on dirt floor. We're going to rake it all out. We'll let it rest while we clean out the rest of the stalls. And then we'll put fresh shavings in. Same thing with this pin and that pin. And then in the other room, our Milky Way room, um, which I don't know if I've shown y'all why we call it the Milky Way, but it's a really good opportunity to do this. So <laughs> whenever we enclosed this room to make all of these stalls, there's six stalls in here, we had to repurpose some sheet metal and it's got holes in it, which hence the name Milky Way. So again, dirt floors and some of these are bedding and straw and I know the lighting is really bad in here, but we will be cleaning all of these out as well. And then usually what we do is we'll put everything on the tarp, we'll haul it out of here, put it in a compost pile. Whoa! That little baby just knocked over the radio. Um, and then we will, uh, once we're done with that, we will clean up the midway here. Right now I've got the barrels moved out of the way. Um, and so we'll clean up the midway and then midway doesn't get any shavings. It's just dirt, but it does get a lot of foot traffic and a lot of hay and a lot of shavings, like kind of just kind of filter into it throughout the week and to where we'll clean that up. So right now the babies have the run of the barn. Um, Tootsie's the only mama in here because she can't be with the herd and I'm just out here working. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that y'all liked the video and we'll catch y'all next time. Bye.